Stock Pulse Newsroom, talking Abra Silver today. Abra Silver Trades is an ABRA on the Toronto Venture Exchange, ABBRF on the OTC markets in the States. We've got with me now the CEO, John Miniotis. John, appreciate you taking the time here. I know you've been in the news. You're going to commence a, a maiden drilling campaign. I we'll certainly want to get to that. I guess before we do, though, uh, why don't we kind of recapture 21 here? I want you to walk investors through the highlights, maybe, of how Abra Silver did in 21, and then we'll get to 22. Yeah, no, sounds sounds great. Thanks, thanks, Rob. Um, yeah, no, 2021 was definitely a, a very exciting year for us. I mean, from a company perspective, I mean, the company even right now continues to to fire on all cylinders. I would say, at the moment, um, unfortunately, of course, just given the the broader market conditions, I mean, that's not really being reflected in our share price. Um, and so, look, I mean, obviously that presents an opportunity, but but share price aside. I mean, from an exploration perspective last year, we announced several spectacular intercepts. We completed our phase one drill program uh, where we drilled about 15,000 meters um, and then came up with an updated resource estimate. And that updated resource estimate, uh, we increased our gold ounces in the ground from 700,000 ounces up to a million ounces now of measured and indicated resources uh, on the gold side. And of course, I mean, we continue to be a primary silver project here, and now we have over 90 million ounces uh, a year, uh, 90 million ounces in total uh, in terms of our measured and indicated resources. And so on the back of that, we announced uh, an updated preliminary economic study showing very robust economics here. So this project has an after-tax rate of return of over 30% uh, and has a net asset value of about $470 million Canadian. And of course, right now with our market cap, it's trading at really just a, a fraction of that. But this is clearly a large scale project. We have a project with a 16 year mine life capable of producing uh, in the first five years, it's over 11 million ounces a year on a silver equivalent basis uh, at all in sustaining cash costs of under $12 an ounce. And so, you know, rapid payback period as well. Um, you know, there's lots of details we can get into if you like, but less than a three-year payback for a 16-year mine life. I mean, this is a very robust project and our focus at the moment remains on continuing to grow this. There's still significant upside ahead of us. And so we're, we're drilling aggressively here, uh, continuing to, to grow this project and, and add value for shareholders really. Yeah, let's uh, let's use that to get into a, a 22 guidance here. Um, a big year 21, you laid it out there. Not much market recognition. Uh, silver flatlined a bit. Uh, conditions look good here. I'm not a prognosticator, but I would I would think that uh, the things look pretty good for you guys. So uh, I guess walk us through 22. What are the highlights here for Aber Silver? What are you going to accomplish, Sean? Yeah, so so we have a ton of catalysts uh, still ahead of us. And so I mentioned, I mean, right now we're in our phase two drill program. We'll be drilling uh, part of that until until May of this year. Then afterwards, we're looking to announce yet another updated resource estimate. So that'll likely be in, in Q3 of this year. So looking again uh, to you know uh, to grow the, the size of this project, and just based on the drill results we've already announced so far, um, you know I think we're we're quite confident. We expect another sizable increase uh, in the overall uh, resource here on both gold and in silver. Um, now, in parallel, I mean, we're also conducting optimization studies sort of behind the scenes. So just looking overall at various ways to continue to add further value to this project. And then importantly, I mean, we just recently announced as well, um, just a few weeks ago now, that we're drilling at our Lakwa Pita project. So this is now uh, sort of a, a project that's much earlier stage. It's also in a very good province in Argentina. Um, and so, you know, I think it's important for a company like ours to have a pipeline of projects. Of course, the Abuelos is large scale, it's advanced stage, we're moving that forward, that's a priority. But behind that, we now have La Cuepita, where we see tremendous sort of exploration upside potential. And within the next few months, I mean, we'll be announcing the, the initial results there. So very much looking forward to that as well. Yeah, so uh, I guess let's get to how much fuel is in the tank here to carry out the mission. Uh, I think you guys have a pretty nice till at the moment. Absolutely, we're good. Uh, on a balance sheet perspective, we have just under $20 million Canadian of cash in the bank. And so we're fully funded for all of this year. 
and even all of next year, 2023 as well. So we're, we're fully funded. That's one of the, the exciting parts of, you know, uh, we have a strong balance sheet and just looking to put that money uh, to great use in the ground. Okay, we'll leave it there and uh, certainly we'll keep our eye on the wire for more. John Miniotis, he's the CEO, Abra Silver, ABRA, Toronto Venture Exchange, ABBRF, OTC Markets in the States. Again, John, appreciate the update and we'll certainly look forward to checking back in when you have more news to report. Thanks very much. It's always great.